Indian Navy is celebrating Navy Day on 4th of December to commemorate the daredevil attack on Pakistani naval base in Karachi in 1971. Pakistan realized that it can't fight war with India, so it invited its all-weather friend China to play the great game of O in Indian Ocean. Indian Navy, who by now dominates Indian Ocean, is challenged by Chinese PLA Navy building secret naval bases in Indian Ocean region. National Defense reveals the Chinese tragic games of Go in Indian Ocean. Go is an abstract strategy board game for two players, in which the aim is to surround more territory than the opponent. The game though was invented in China more than 2500 years ago, but Chinese started to play it in Indian Ocean just a few years back through string of pearls. Never mind, China, or for that matter, anyone can move in the Indian Ocean as the waters are global maritime commons until one does not challenge to enter territorial waters. But what matters is the substantial presence of Chinese naval vessels in Indian Ocean and the movement of Chinese nuclear submarines in the name of combating piracy in Gulf of Aden. Pakistan pushed India to play the game of Go with Chinese in Indian Ocean by offering its occupied port in Gwadar in Balochistan. An armed freedom struggle is already going on in Balochistan against Pakistan's illegal occupation. Besides Gwadar, Jinnah naval base at Urmara, positioned halfway between Karachi and Gwadar, is more critical naval base than Gwadar for Pakistani maritime security. According to sources, Chinese submarines are shifting there and it is going to be another Chinese naval base providing Chinese the capability to monitor traffic in the Arabian Sea, while an air base at Turbat plays supportive role. Another Chinese secret naval base is Jeevni Naval Base, which otherwise is operated by Pakistan Navy. The base has airfields in the area dating from the Second World War, which is always being made available for the Chinese Air Force. Compared with Gwadar, Jeevni is also closer to Strait of Hormuz and further away from Indian airfields. While Jeevni might be too exposed for a major Chinese fleet base, locating a forward operating base there along with China's facilities in Djibouti and access to Karachi, would provide Beijing with additional options in the event of a crisis in or around the Persian Gulf. It would also make life a lot more difficult for China's adversaries. In July 2017, after a long period of secrecy, China opened the first foreign military base at Djibouti. The base offers domination opportunities to Chinese at Strait of Homrose, through which world's 20% petroleum passes through. Sri Lanka is shifting a naval base to a port built and controlled by China, a move that will strengthen security at a harbour that foreign powers fear China could use for military purposes. The base currently in the tourist district of Galle will be moved 125 km east along Sri Lanka's southern coast to Hambantota, near a main shipping route between Asia and Europe. The $1.5 billion deep water port is likely to play a major role in China's Belt and Road Initiative and is under a 99-year lease to China Merchant Port holding at a cost of $1.12 billion. An article published in China Daily during 2014 stated China plans to build 18 strategic support bases in the Indian Ocean region like in Djibouti, Aden, Salala, Seychelles, Gwadar in Pakistan and Myanmar, Welwes Bay in Namibia, Yemen, Oman, Kenya, Tanzania, Mozambique and Madagascar. Chinese companies have built a new port at Kyokpyu in Rakhine State in Myanmar as the terminus of a road and pipeline that links China's Yunnan province with the ocean. China has more than 70% stake in the project and would use as naval base. Of late, China has been promoting Maldives as a maritime pivot. Maldives was looking to let the Chinese build a port at Gadhu Island in the southern atoll. The port could become supply base for Chinese military and civil vessels. With the new president, Ibrahim Mohamed Soli, the Chinese advances in Maldives likely to be checked. Any Chinese base in Maldives would directly threaten Indian security and dominance as net security provider in Indian Ocean region. In January this year, China's indigenous underwater glider Hei, capable of reaching a depth of 6329 meters, successfully fulfilled a scientific observation in the Indian Ocean. What for Hei is IOR is not out of a damn guess. The Indian Ocean is the strategic crossroads of the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. China is obsessed with the Malacca Dilemma and wants a curative pill. 
Since the Indian Ocean route is the most important of China's four major shipping routes, accounting for 40% of China's overseas trade and 80% of its total imports, it is natural for the Chinese government to regard the Indian Ocean and the Malacca Strait as a key section of the 21st century Maritime Silk Road, an initiative proposed by Chinese President Xi Jinping in 2013. Today, Chinese network of naval bases is perceived to protect Chinese sea lanes of communications, but simultaneously it poses huge threats to the security of member nations in the Indian Ocean regions. If you want to watch more videos on Chinese military, write in the comment section below. The next story could be based on your feedback. Till then, keep watching National Defense and don't forget to like, share and subscribe this video. Thanks for watching, stay fit and be happy. Jai Hind!